Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Spatial. Today, we're going to see a tutorial on ArcGIS Online. So let's get started. Let's open a new tab. Let's type ArcGIS Online. Click the first result, ArcGIS Online. So let's sign in. So, to log in, you have to create an S3 account. So, let me enter my username and password. Make sure you click Keep Me Signed In. Now, sign in. Go to the map section. So this is ArcGIS Online. Compared to ArcGIS Desktop, ArcGIS Online is way more smoother and faster because of its online compatibility. So let's check around this maps. So in left side corner, and we have a content, we have a legend, and base map. So let's see how to add a base map. So let me click, uh, we have uh, several uh, layers from imagery, navigation, street maps and terrains with labels. So let me click imagery. So this is an imagery layer. So let me check other layers too. So again, uh, click base map. Add navigation maps. So this is a na navigation layer. Let me check around. So now let's add, add a layer from a living atlas. Go to the add section. Now Browse a living atlas layer. So in this uh, living atlas, we have several layers like a multispectral Landsat and Landsat 8 and pan sharpened Landsat. We have several layers. We have shader reliefs and uh, we have urban heat island it's only for us cities make sure it is only for us cities so now let's add the multispectral landsat click this plus button wait for some time so the multispectral landsat image layer is being added so let's zoom it uh, zoom in So the layer looks pretty cool because it has a good visualizing. So the layer is more clear. So let's add another layer. To turn off this layer, click this minus button. So let me add the Landsat 8 views. So the image looks pretty clear. So let us add a, a layer from our text top. So go to the add section. So add layer from a file. Make sure the shape file have a zip archive containing all shape files. So let's uh, show you how to uh, compress 
the file and add into this uh, ArcGIS Online. So let us add a district layer. So this is a district shape file. So let's compress it. Make sure it is in uh, zip format. So select all layers of this district shape file. Right click and send to compressed zip folder. So let me add the file to my ArcGIS online. Click browse, add the TN district zip file and open. Make sure you generalize a feature for a web display or keep the original features. For my point, my condition, I'm going to uh, stick to generalized features for web display. So import layer. So the district, Tamil Nadu district map has been imported into ArcGIS Online. In the left side, we can able to see the, diff uh, the different uh, districts in Tamil Nadu, starting from Ariyalur to Karur. So let's cancel this. So now we have seen two different layers here. One is Tamil Nadu district layer. And second, we have a Landsat 8 layer. So let us uh, uh, sh uh, let me uh, show you that this layer can be offed just like in a just like in ArcGIS desktop. You can click it uh, click this box section to turn off the layer and turn on the layer. Similarly, you can click the Landsat 8 8 view ML layer to turn off or on. So, let me show you another thing. We have a show legends. In this, it shows the uh, legends of the, our layer. So, the next is a show table. It is an attribute table, just like in the ArcGIS desktop. In this uh, table, we have several districts of Tamil Nadu, starting from Thiruvallur to Tiruchirappalli. So let me show you another thing. Let's cl uh, click the Tirchirapalli layer. Click it. So it is get uh, shown up in our layer. And similarly, let's click the Coimbatore layer. So similarly, it shows in our layer. So next, uh, let me show you the change style. The change style that is similar to our symbology that is being used in ArcGIS desktop by right clicking the layer in desktop. Here, let's click in options, show to first choose an attribute. So we choose the name, the name of the districts. So let's select the style, click an option. So click OK. Done. Make sure you click Done to save the changes. So in this way, the different uh, districts being viewed in different colors. Let me select another uh, district, Kadalur. So here, it indicates the Kadalur district. So at last, let us see the more option. In more option, we can set the transparency of the layer and set the visibility of the layer. Okay, so let us review what we learned in this video. We have seen how to add or change the base map and how to browse and add a layer from a living atlas. How to zip and add a layer from our desktop. 
So next video, I will show you how to add and change the symbology in RGS online. For more videos, uh, kindly like and subscribe the Terra Spatial. Thanks for watching.